Oh, dinner. Why do you do it? Every other meal, I'm good to go. I know I'm eating healthy all day long. Fruits and veggies, smoothies, juices. And then dinner comes. It's like, it all falls apart. Every time. Every diet I've ever been on dinner's after me. And so today we discover the best dinner together. We'll do it. I love your colon, girl. It's my world. I won't ever make a sound. It's kind of funny looking back at my health journey. Every time I was pretty consistent throughout the day. Always that green juice in the morning and then fruit meals, sometimes a smoothie, and then dinner comes and I just, I get confused. I'm like, okay, I can't have more fruit. Like we're done with that. It's too sweet. It's getting cold. It's like, there becomes a balance issue. I feel pretty balanced as long as I eat enough greens, then fruit is still good even later in the day. But at some point I need something savory and I've always been confused. What's better, starch or fat? Raw fat, nut and seed based, fish based. What's the healthier option? Starch doesn't really complement fruit very well. So you're eating like bananas and oranges all day and then dinner comes, you want to complement all the nutrients you got in that fruit and you eat potatoes. It's like it's the same nutrient makeup as a banana, basically, very similar. Whereas if you go to the other side, nuts and seeds or fish, you're getting all these new nutrients that you never had before. It's like omega-3s, higher mineral intake, zinc, selenium. Imagine a Brazil nut in your mouth right now. Can you even imagine the selenium? I can't. So dinner has always plagued me. Just trying to feel my optimal best. And for the while, for the while, the hell was that? For a while now, doing this medical medium approach, which is very flexible, I've been having a starch-based dinner and I've been having terrible breakouts the whole time, pretty much. I removed the starch as a secret experiment. What do you know? Breakout's gone. Starch Fs me. It shouldn't, according to the medical ghost. It, it should be fine. Potatoes are the most healing thing ever. You nightshade asshole, you lie. But hey, what do you know? I've removed starch, and my dinner now is just like a hand. I have some fruit, then a little handful of nuts, and then a big pile of pressure cooked veggies with spices and herbs and stuff. It's been really satisfying. And I think I even feel clearer in the mind. Something about the starch fogs up my mind. Does it do that to you? Am I a freak? Do I obsess? A little bit. How come it's so quiet? All of a sudden, the city stopped to listen to my obsessive mind. Oh, he tried to kill me. Oh, that's the plot. I see it now. So right now things are working this way, but I will say this. Nuts are nowhere near as satisfying as fish. I just gotta be honest with you, nuts. I'm having walnuts. They're just nothing. It's, it's like, what is that in my mouth? Nothing, no joy. Steamed vegetables are so much more flavorful than that. Nuts? I thought walnuts would be the most beneficial. You got some omega-3s in there, even though there's a shit ton more omega-6. Off balance is that kilter. Yeah. But it makes you think, are nuts even human food? At least the walnuts sucks. I don't know, maybe I'm doing it wrong. Just eating it. I should have soaked it overnight. To get rid of the phytic acid. I think I'm gonna get some cashews next just because those are delicious. Ain't nobody went wrong with a cashew. And they're high carb, kind of. You can't go wrong. Wow, I can't wait, I should have bought them. Let's go. On a side note, call me crazy here, but I did a little experiment because I wanted to eliminate starch and I didn't know what my dinner was gonna be. I wasn't on to nuts yet. So I bought a bunch of salmon, wild caught sockeye salmon, frozen, put a bunch of fillets in my freezer. Three nights in a row, I had salmon. Just one piece, like 160 grams. Three nights in a row, my digestion starts slowing down to the point where the fourth day, did I poop? Ask me again, did I? No. This was the first time in five months that I didn't poo in the morning and the whole day. And I was like, what the hell was that? Salmon. Too much salmon just slows things down. It was too much fat and protein. Whereas I'm fine with a handful of nuts. The slight amount of fiber in the nut saved me and my toilet. 
So these are the things we learn each day. You keep on trying, keep on trying new things, and eventually you'll get it. So, feeling pretty good, but that salmon constipation led to a cold, a first cold in like a year. It was much better than the carnivore cold. That thing almost ended me. I couldn't believe how sore my throat was on that carnivore cold. Plant-based colds are so much more milder. I'm sick, but I'm living and I can walk around and live. So we live and learn. I think we're done. Just a short video today. How you doing? Was that a Mazda? BMW. Ah. What the hell was that car? I didn't even recognize the name. It's like a new brand. Freaking Honduras car. Okay. We're done. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you liked the video. Thumbs down. If you're drying. Drying? Jesus Christ. If you're driving a Russian pink Volts vendor. It's a Russian and German collaboration car. It runs off Muesli. I'm gonna go. Thanks for signing up to the monthly Patreon Q&A and subscribing for more videos and we'll see you in the next one.